Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, welcome to our today's chemistry lesson. My name is Stephen Ferriungi. Today we continue with our topic of structure of the atom and the periodic table. And specifically, I want us to define some terms. And these terms include atomic number, uh, mass number, and isotopes. So we'll start with uh, the atomic number. And atomic number simply refers to the number of protons within the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons or the number of positive charges within the nucleus of an atom. So for example, uh, we saw earlier that helium has two protons, therefore its atomic number is two. So the atomic number simply refers to the number of protons within the nucleus of an atom. Uh, the next terminology is the mass number. The mass number. And the mass number is also referred to as the nucleon number. It's referred to as the nucleon number. And we mentioned earlier that uh, nucleons are a sum of protons and neutrons. So in this case, the mass number, this is the sum total. Of protons and neutrons within sum total of protons and neutrons within the nucleus of an atom. So you take the protons, their number, you take the neutrons, their number, and then you do a summation. So that is a mass number, also known as the nuclear number, as shown up there, is equals to protons plus the neutrons. For example, again we can use uh, helium. Helium has two protons and two neutrons. Therefore, its mass number Therefore, its mass number is 2 plus 2, which is equals to 4. It has a mass number of 4. So we have defined those two terms. The third term that we are going to define is the term isotopes. And we say that isotopes are atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass number. Atoms of the same element having the same atomic number, but different mass number or different nucleon number. Uh, 
having the same atomic number but different mass number for example two atoms of chlorine are written as follows They are written as shown above. Uh, the number that is on top is the mass number, and the number that is at the bottom is the atomic number. So the atomic number is the same, but the mass number is different. So we can say that uh, the number written above the symbol also called is called a superscript is the superscript represents the mass number represents the mass number so the number that is written up is the mass number and it's called the superscript written above the symbol The number written below the symbol is called subscript. Subscript and it represents the atomic number. It represents the atomic number. So in this case, we are saying the first atom, chlorine 35, 17, this is the mass number, this is the atomic number. The other one is chlorine 37 is also the mass number and 17 so in this case you find that the atomic number is the same that shows that they are atoms of the same element they are atoms of the same element but uh, the mass number is different the mass number is different so Isotopes are atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass number. So we'll have more examples. More examples of isotopes. So you'll have the element so we have the element its atomic number the mass number and now the isotope so we'll start with element hydrogen there is hydrogen with a atomic number one 
and a mass number of 1. So we write it as H11. One, one. The atomic number is 1 and the mass number is 1. We also have another type or another isotope of hydrogen. And this one we call it deuterium. The atomic number is still the same, so it's 1. But the mass number is 2. So we write it as H21. So the atomic number is the same, but their mass numbers are different. So the isotope is written as 1, 1, up, mass number, down the atomic number. Up the mass number, down the atomic number. And there is still another hydrogen called tritium. And this one has atomic number one, just like the others, because they are isotopes, but the mass number is three. So we write it as H31. So So that table shows examples of isotopes. So we have the element is hydrogen for all of them. All of them are hydrogen. They have the same atomic number but different mass number. And that's how they are written. Up the superscript, we write the mass number. Down the subscript, we write the uh, atomic number. Mass number, atomic number, as shown there. So we're going to have... Uh, an assignment on this. So the first question, determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in each of the following atoms. This carbon that is written as 12, 6. So here you're supposed to fill how many protons are there, how many electrons are there, and how many neutrons are there. And then B, carbon, 14, 6. How many protons are there? how many electrons are there, and how many neutrons are there. Then question number two, what name is given to the atoms in A and B above? What name is used collectively to refer to A and B? So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.